What's up, everybody? It's your boy Meme Kerr. I should put my AirPods away. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, for breakfast, I had four packages of oatmeal and a can of chili. For lunch, I had quinoa salad and a banana. And for dinner, um, my mom very nicely made me a grilled cheese and I had a tomato bisque and some chips. Uh, and then my parents went on a dinner today, so um, they, it was like a three course meal and the third course was cake and they don't really like cake. Well, they like cake, but you know, they don't, you know, when they get me a birthday cake, they just have a bite of my slice, you know, and then I have the whole cake and then we have to throw the other half away. Um, which is not, which is why I'm not gonna get a birthday cake next year. I, it seems silly. I feel, I do feel like going, like a, a bir or like a birthday is always a good excuse to go to like a nice dinner or something, you know? Like, I, I feel like you should celebrate your birthday, but again, the cake is a little ostentatious. I feel like I use the word ostentatious like several times a week. It's, I need to stop saying that. Um, for, yeah, so I uh, woke up at 4.50 today, um, and then I went to school at 7.03 started walking at 7.02 actually, um, and then I got on the bus, and I got on the train, and then uh, while I was on the train, uh, my English professor was like, hey, no class today, he said to everyone, like an hour before class started. So I woke up at 4.50 this morning and left at 7.02 this morning for no reason. Um, but that's fine, I guess. <sighs> so I just sort of sat around until 11. I did some schoolwork. I wrote notes on the um, the Miller information wheel. Um, it's like a wheel, and one of the it's like a pie chart, and one of the things is like your sensory data, and then the rest is like how your sensory data interacts with that. So it's like your thoughts and your feelings, um, and stuff like that. And um, here's my phone. I unbox this on my YouTube channel. Great phone. Great, great, great great phone. I love this phone. It's a little heavy though, and it's not the new one anymore. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, I should work on that stuff. Um, I have a couple other business class assignments I need to do. I'm going to do them tomorrow. Um, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm going to do them tomorrow. Uh, We'll see. I'm gonna do them tomorrow. Um, and then I got home. Oh, I'll, and then um, there is math class, and today we learned how to, if you're given two points on a graph, how to find the slope and the y-intercept. Um, I knew how, I knew how, but I forgot. Um, so it's cool to relearn, and I did the quiz on it. I got a six out of 10, and then I got a 10 out of 10. The reason why I got a six out of 10 is because I was like, man, I can sure save a lot of time if I just take my math test on the train, on the train home, if I just take my math test. So I got my notebook out to jot down like little scratch work and I did the quiz and I got six out of 10, uh, which, you know, is pretty okay for being on a moving train, but um, I'd much rather get a 10 out of 10, especially considering my grade in that class is like an A minus right now. And you know, my business class, I'm at a 77% and that's not even close to an A, so I'm not trying extremely hard, but my math class, I'm so close to an A, so I might as well try hard, you know what I mean? Um, and, yeah, so math class was good. Um, I worked on stuff in between math class and, um, and, and interpersonal communications class, you know, I worked on stuff. Um, there's this little room I've been in, and there's this coffee vending machine, you may have heard me mention it. Um, I bought coffee from the coffee vending machine today. I got a French roast with milk. Um, and it didn't taste good. Um, it was like, if you ever, if you ever had a coffee out of a French press and you know, you have the whole pot and there's like a little bit of coffee sitting at the bottom, um, that's sort of what, uh, it tasted like and it didn't taste great. Um, you know, it was certainly novel getting a hot drink from a, um, vending machine. They do also serve hot chocolate and that's what my friend got at the sister college. But earnestly, honestly, I keep, I've been saying earnestly, I need to stop saying it. Honestly, um, it's, 
it's a dollar fifty, which is you know you can't beat that price for coffee nowadays or just caffeine in general, but it's still silly. Um, but it was cool getting a hot drink from a vending machine. You know, it dispensed the cup and it's filled with coffee. It was cool. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, so I got home, uh, it was raining pretty hard, and I texted my parents like, hey, I can walk home, because I was totally gonna walk home. And then they're like, no, we're driving you home from the strip mall. And I was like, okay, because that's fair, it is rainy and dark outside. Uh, it's particularly stormy, you look at the per precipitation map, and it's all purple over in Seattle, so it's pretty rainy. Um, and, uh, oh man, whenever I'm doing that, I'm just scratching my nose, I'm not picking for boogers, but that time I actually did get a booger, which is embarrassing. Um, I, I, when I go like this, I'm just scratching, I'm scratching the inside of my nose. I'm not, I'm not picking any boogers or anything. Because I do it around my parents sometimes, and they're like, why, why are you picking boogers? Is this, does this look like picking boogers? I, I you know, that's not my perception. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, I got home and I made some stupid financial decisions. Oh, okay, before I mention the stupid financial decisions, my my European friend who I bought my Yeezy Gap round jacket to from on Grailed, he totally canceled out on me. So it turns out he lives in Finland and it was the first time he had shipped from Finland to the US before. And he didn't expect it to be like 100 to 150 euros to ship. So um, he refunded the purchase. He was like, I'm so sorry. Um, he was like, I'm so sorry, you know, it's a shame, but you know, oh well. Second time I've gotten canceled on for my, for this jacket. The world wants me to have a really good deal on this jacket. Um, uh, so I reached out to some other people on Grail. I made a, some, some offers. I really lowballed a guy. There's this guy selling the jacket for 280. I sent him an offer for 200, but honestly, you're selling it used for 280. You can get it on StockX right now for 248. I don't think 200 is a crazy offer, um, but that, you know, I'll, I'll tell him that if he doesn't accept the offer. That's all I'm saying. Um, and yeah, what else? Um, yeah, on StockX, I kind of got in a bidding war. You may be able to see it if you look at the price history. Um, on the round jacket too. I I always try to have one dollar above the asking like highest bid for the medium size. So this guy he kept increasing his price by a dollar and I kept increasing my price by a dollar. So now the asking price for a medium easy gap round jacket too is like is like two twenty three, I think. I'm not paying that. I'm not paying two hundred and twenty three dollars for that jacket, plus shipping, plus tax, plus fee. It's stupid. Uh, I was just doing it because I think it's funny to be in a bidding war, but maybe that'll bite me in the back. Back to my stupid financial decision. I went home, and throughout the whole day, ever since I bought that, what, $30, no, $20 in Bitcoin, um, I've sort of had a weird brainworms about it. Um, Bitcoin's been really up, and Ethereum's been really up, and everything has been really up in crypto. And uh, the reason why is because they're thinking about making a, a crypto ETF which I don't even know how that would work, considering the stock market is like 9 to 5 EST. Uh, don't quote me on that, it might not be 9 to 5 EST. It's like, it's it opens really early in the morning here on the, on the West Coast. And um, I don't even know how that would work, considering the stock market has hours and crypto just sort of trades forever. Um, but they're saying they're gonna make a crypto ETF and so cryptocurrencies buy up, so I got home. I was like, man, I'm up like $5, you know, on my Bitcoin investment. I don't have any Ethereum, I should invest like $30 into Ethereum. And I was like, well now my portfolio is mostly Ethereum, I'm gonna invest 20 more dollars in Bitcoin. <sighs> they got Apple Pay on Coinbase. You know, you, you know, I'm very susceptible to Apple Pay. That's all I'm saying, I, you know, you know, you just press the button, you double click it, it does face ID. And from your perspective, you haven't even paid for anything. It just scanned your face when really you spent $30 on crypto. Such a stupid decision. Um, I, it's so embarrassing. Um, especially considering, you know, crypto doesn't even like go up forever. Like at least you can invest $30 into like a total US stock market ETF and wait 50 years. And that's like guaranteed returns. 
you'll for sure make money on that. But Bitcoin, like, who knows? Maybe it'll go down to zero dollars tomorrow. Like, I don't know. Like, it, it's not an it's not a asset that like forever goes up in value. You know, it goes up and down, and it's made to be day traded. That's something ninety eight percent of investors fail at. So. It's just a stupid, stupid decision I made. I deleted the Coinbase app. I don't even want to look at my wallet. Because honestly, something that is trading 24 seven, it gives me brain worms. I'm always checking what the prices are on my on my crypto. And it's, it's, it's stupid and I think it's a very bad habit to form. And uh, you know, I think I'm a little susceptible to it. You know, whenever, um, I kind of stopped playing CSGO because instead of just selling the cases as soon as I got them, I would start paying 250 for a key and then hope and gamble on the case, <laughs> right? And I just, uh, I think I'm very susceptible to bad habits like that and I just don't want that sort of evil force in my life, you know? Um, and it really is an evil force. It's, it's not, there's no good that can come from it. Um, and, you know, so I deleted the Coinbase app because it's stupid and I'm not gonna download it again. You know, you'll hear from me if I suddenly become rich off of my stupid investments, right? Um, but I don't think I will, and if that's ever the case, I'll just re-download the app and cash out. But even the fact that I'm thinking like that is proof of my brain worms. Why would I ever become rich off crypto when I've invested $30 into, $40 now into Bitcoin? What, what am I, what am I, the, aww, if I remembered their name, it would have been funny. The two twins who sued Mark Zuckerberg and they made a bunch of money off Bitcoin. Look up, look up Mark Zuckerberg, Bitcoin twins, social network. You'll know who I'm talking about. All right, see you, dude.